they're not ready, I'm not ready, let's get ready. Hey everyone, my bangs are really crazy right now, but today I'm gonna do a get ready with me and I'm gonna use all new products. This is gonna be like 37 first impressions all in one. Not really, I have used some of these products in the past, but they're all new, new to me, okay? I'm using all new brushes. I got all these brushes from <coughs> Eco Tools, and I haven't used any of these. I have new foundation, I have a new eyeshadow palette that this one was super requested. I showed it on Snapchat. I'm super excited to try this. So yeah, a lot of new things. I couldn't decide what to show you guys first or what video to make first. Hopefully you guys are down for like a really major 57 product first impression video, are you? I don't know if I am, but we're gonna do it. Also, it's gonna be like a chatty thing because I don't know, can't really do like a first impression if you're doing a voiceover. Plus, voiceovers are annoying. Luna's being so cute right now. Luna, why are you so cute? I can't stand it. First product I'm using is the Glossier Priming Moisture. It's a buildable hydrating cream, and I am excited to use this. I haven't used it yet. And uh, you guys know I like have such a crush on Glossier. I feel like a lot of people do. The only thing that bothers me up front about this moisturizer is that there's no SPF because I pretty much exclusively use moisturizer with SPF because I need it on my face. Feels good, there's no scent. I'm a fan. Maybe this is a great nighttime moisturizer for me, I'm not sure. So I'm also going to layer on the Bioderma Matte Control something moisturizer. It says it's an eight hour matte thing. I just got this at Ricky's in New York. I was just in New York and I'd never been to Ricky's before. If you don't know what that is, it's like a big makeup store for makeup artists. It's like everything. I was kind of overwhelmed and I didn't have a lot of time. This is the only thing that I bought. You guys are probably horrified, but I don't think, I don't know if this is new, but I've never heard anybody talk about it. So I don't really uh, know anything about it, but I'm trying it. I'm just going to put this on my T-zone. There is a slight scent. It's like a little like fresh cucumbery almost. Not bad, but I don't love scent in my skincare that much, to be honest. These look really pretty together. Ooh, so aesthetic. I kind of hate that. Do you hate that? I'm sure I'm alone in that. Oh well. I just prepped my sponge by getting it wet. Uh, this is a very interesting shape. I've never had a sponge that looks like this. It's a green, I kinda like that. But there are two big flat sides and this would be great if you're baking right here, right here. I don't do a lot of baking, but sometimes I do do it along the jawline. I like how it brightens everything up. Um, but then there is a rounded side here. Hmm, interesting, I'm done for it. They also included a baby. It's a mama and it's a baby. So we're gonna use the mama and I'm gonna do some color correcting. Um, this one is not super new, but I've been liking it and I've never talked to you guys about it. Um, it's the Amazing Concealer Corrector. There's a yellow side and a pink side and I use the pink side. I try not to use a whole, whole bunch. I have these crazy veins, I should zoom in. Let's zoom in some more. I have these crazy veins underneath my eyes and right here. And so that's that's why I use this. And I'm going to use these. Oh, I probably should have used the baby. Oh, well, we've gone too far. Okay, yeah, this sponge was a bad choice for right now. I'm also just gonna use some of the excess on the top of my lids because I've got a lot of veins and discoloration up there. <laughs> it's amazing, I love it. No, I'm like forever on the quest for like the best way to conceal those veins because I feel like they're just getting worse and worse by the day. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Now that my under eye is really pink, <laughs> Let's move on to foundation. Uh, I just recently got these in a PR box, like yesterday, and I got three of these. I've never tried this foundation. It is not new by any means. It's the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. This has SPF, so that's good. And I'm also gonna use this brush that they sent along with the foundation. I actually think I've heard bad things about this foundation. That makes me a little bit nervous, but oh well. Maybe I'm just gonna mix two. For some reason, I'm like, I don't know what color I am, but like if I mix two, that'll be good, right? I don't know. I'm gonna mix light neutral and fairly light neutral. Why not? 
Ooh, this is some thick foundation. So professional. Okay, one of them is way more yellow than the other and it is thick as all get out. Looks like it might actually be a little light, but what's done is done. See if it covers the bane of my existence on my nose right now. Oh my gosh, this thing will never go away. I had like a horrible zit right there that just lived on and on and on and it was huge and horrible and I definitely did not complain about it enough whenever it was huge and now it's just like this horrible red spot that will not go away. And TMI, I like kind of squoze it. I'll squoze it a little bit and it definitely made it worse. So I probably shouldn't complain. It's my fault. Um, I am not in love with the coverage of this foundation. I thought it was gonna be like a lot more coverage, honestly. That's a little disappointing and I kind of don't wanna add another layer of it because it was so thick and I kind of think I'm just gonna add some of my Maybelline matte whatever. I'm just gonna cheat the entire thing already and I'm gonna add a little layer of the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Pore List. You guys know I'm obsessed with this one. I trust it, okay? And I want a little more coverage trying to look good tonight. So I'll add a little color too, because this one's a little too dark for me. <laughs> Maybe it's the brush. I am still very loyal to the flat top Kabuki. Maybe this shears it out. I don't know, I don't like it. I can't completely say that I hate that foundation. Maybe it's the brush application, but oh well. This is what we got. Gotta work with it. This little red spot is like completely uncovered. That is very disappointing to me. Anyway, I'm gonna use a little bit of the NARS Creme Brulee Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is pretty new. I talked about it in a Sephora haul not too long ago, and I've actually really been liking it. I'm using it as a eyeshadow base right now. Um, sometimes I use actual eyeshadow bases, but nine times out of 10, I just use concealer because I use about 75 products and 76 is just unacceptable. I don't know why. And now for the eyeshadow portion of the evening, I'm using the new Meet Matte Adore eyeshadow palette by The Balm. It's all matte shadows, except, I talked to you guys about this on Snapchat, these three bottom colors, oddly, not matte. Like, it's, it's a very, very, very subtle sparkle. If you just look at it straight on like this, it looks matte, but they're not, secretly. I don't know what's up with that. I'm not really complaining, but it's just odd, right? Anyway, I'm gonna dip into Matte Johansson, and I'm gonna go over the whole lid to kind of set that concealer, get it going. I've always been a big fan of the Balm's shadow, so I'm definitely expecting to love this, hoping to love this, I think it's a cross. Hold everything, I need to do my brows. I'm using the Soap & Glory Archery Brow Gel, and this is in Talk of the Brown. I talked about this in my latest favorites video. I've been loving it. Generally, I just use it all by itself, and it's a dark product, but I just love how it just coats the hair, and it. Oh, you're trying to act natural now. It just coats the hair and it just looks, I don't know, it just makes it look like I have naturally darker brows and it makes me so happy. And Luna, you're being so distracting. I scared her so bad. I'm so be. I was always so scaring you. Sometimes I do one more step in my brows, but usually I don't. I'll show you what it is if I have to do it. I just like easy, okay? I know that's probably hard to believe being on YouTube doing makeup, but that's just who I am. I like easy. And these are very easy brows. I love this product. I know there will always be a market for like over the top makeup, like stage makeup on real girls, but I feel like we're kind of moving away from that a little bit, maybe. Is it just me? Do you feel it? I feel it. I hope you feel it too because that's kind of what I want. That's that's what I'm wanting. Okay, if Luna is being gross and distracting, I don't know how to tell her what to do. We have a communication problem. It is what it is. There's no name on it, but Eco Tools did like a revamp of their line. They look a little bit different. So they're all new. They have a new look. 
I'm using them. There's no name on this one, but it's just like a big, flat, fluffy. My transition shade, I'm gonna go into Matte Munoz. I believe that's how you say it. It's a light pink shade. I'm into that. There's nothing better than a good transition color. Is it just me? I don't think so. You're not alone, Leanne. Everyone loves a good transition shade. Just to get real into the transition colors, I'm gonna go into Matte Bernard with the same brush. This is like a dual-ended smudge and blend brush, and I'm using the blend side, surprise. This is more of like an orangey tan color. I'm not in love with this blending brush at all. Probably not gonna be my new go-to, if you're wondering. This is an interesting brush. It's like, a dome stipple tiny baby. What are you? I use Matt Jones, which is a super warm brown. I'm about to fall in love, y'all. Here we go. I like it already. Yes, it was like one swipe. I like it. Ooh, yes. You are beautiful. You are strong. You are healthy. I don't know who I'm talking to anymore. Matt Jones, I see you. I see you, baby. You. You don't know what's going on, but I like it. Next, I'm gonna grab a little Matt William, and I'm just gonna use this on the outside. Oh, this color is not great. Well, it's okay, it's building. It's building, we're building, we can rebuild. Oh, whoa, whoa, got crazy over there. Don't look at that. Ooh, ooh. Uh, I'm just, I'm kind of struggling with this brush, not gonna lie. It's not the absolute worst, but it is just far from the best. Okay, I'm kind of over that blending brush, so I'm just gonna just stop there. The next color I'm going to is Matte Lee, which is supposed to be a matte black, but it's like a almost matte black. Okay, now I'm confused. When I swatched it earlier, they definitely did not look matte. Now it looks kind of matte, but when you look at the shadows, like when you turn it to the side, you can see the shimmer. I don't know, I'm confused, guys. I'm a little scared, I don't... Am I going blind? I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna be using this little tiny, tiny brush. Hold your breath, I'm holding mine. All right, okay, it's kinda doing the thing. It's not as good as my normal brush, but it is working. All right, it's not great, it's not horrible, but I do like this palette. The eyeshadow brushes, I'm not really loving. We'll see about the face ones. You never know. Okay, now is a good time to brush out the lashes. I have lash extensions still. Yes, I'm fully addicted. I knew this would happen. It's so expensive, someone help me. Uh, I just do not miss the days of putting on false lashes at all. I mean, a little bit. Let's not talk about it. I have so many feelings. Okay, I decided I'm gonna be putting this little weird brush to use because I'm like perplexed by it. I'm gonna be going back to the NARS concealer and I'm just gonna conceal the redness that I have around my nose, on my little zit spot. The little metal part on this, it can get you. <laughs> Ow! Okay, it just full on scratched me. I would say don't use this for concealer. This is probably for something else because this little metal part, it's sharp. Oh gosh. I don't recommend this brush, honestly. <laughs> ah, That was dangerous. Don't use this brush. It, it is enchanting, but no, 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 avoid. Okay, now for my under eye concealer. This is not new. I. Just, I'm addicted to it, okay? It's a tart shape tape and I'm using it under my eyes. Since I used that corrector color, I am trying to use less under eye concealer because that's just like a lot of product to put under my eyes. My eyes can only handle so much. They get tired, they are weak. And I'm gonna be using this brush. It's a seamless stippling brush. And I'm just kind of stamping it on. That's how I like to do it. It's working, it's working. I need to do like a brush favorites video because doing this video has made me realize how set in my ways I am with some of my brushes. Like some of them, oh, I'll switch them out, no big deal, I don't even care. Some of them I've been using for years and I'm like, I don't know, I'm like so out of my comfort zone right now. 
This is working though. This is totally working. This is not a bad brush, but I feel like the brush I usually use, which is like a flat top angled kind of kabuki brush, and I just stamp it on like this to like max out the coverage, I feel like it works better and it works faster. And this one's like a little bit harder on my under eye. Next up, I'm going, I'm, I'm cheating, okay? I'm horrible. I'm cheating, I'm using this brush. This is one of those brushes I'm just stuck on. It's just like a small little, it's super flexible though. It's not stiff like that one. And then I'm using this translucent powder by number seven. It's the Perfect Light Loose Powder. This is, I've used this, I've used this a few times before and I like it, but I can't tell if it's better than the Laura Mercier and I have plenty of that left. Um, I wouldn't say it's better, but I mean it is from the drugstore, so it's more affordable. That's nice. Okay, I kind of forgot that I was planning on using this. This is the new Kat Von D highlighting powder in Pearl, and it is a setting powder, but it is slightly tinted, and I was just traveling, and for some reason, being in luggage makes powder like all come out into the shif shifter, and I don't the shifter this sifter and I don't know how to get it back in. Have used this a few times and I think I like it, but I am hesitant to use this much powder under my eyes, but I'm also hesitant to actually set my concealer with a tinted powder. I, I just get nervous about that because I think you could get like real cakey real fast because it would like cling to the moisture of the concealer. Oh my gosh, this is treacherous. Whoa. I like how it's just like a little baby, but I wish I could get it back in, I don't know. Super bright under the eyes. Next up, I'm using the new-ish <laughs> Wet n Wild Cushion Contour Bronzer, whatever. I talked about this in my last favorites video. I hate the packaging, it's absolutely worthless. It broke the first time I ever used it, but I do like the actual product. It is a cushion bronzer. It's the only cushion bronzer I ever used, and I do not know why I still contour and bronze my forehead when I have bangs. Maybe if the wind blows, I don't know. I still do it. I'm an old dog, can't teach my new tricks, so. I still put makeup on my forehead even though I have bangs. I try not to use a ton of this. I feel like I just used a ton of this. <laughs> Hello. It is a little warm. This would definitely be a little warm for a lot of people, but I've been into it. I went to the dentist earlier today and they put a fluoride treatment on my teeth and it's like, I brushed it off. I waited the four hours, I brushed it off, and it's like they still feel, mm, they feel gross. They feel like they have texture. It's, it's nasty. Have they ever done that to you? I hope you can't see it. I can feel it, and it's just little, little, little. Also, I've been thinking about getting Invisalign because my bottom teeth are crazy. I had braces when I was in middle school, but I like never wore my retainer, and they didn't put a permanent one in, and so, I don't know, it's a whole thing because I have insane wisdom teeth. I have three of them and one of them is, like when they take it out, they're gonna have to take out one of my back teeth. I, is there ever a good time to do that? No, but I have to get my wisdom teeth out before I could do anything with Invisalign and it's just like, ugh, ugh. Have you had Invisalign? Would you recommend it? I would appreciate hearing your thoughts because I'm thinking about it very seriously. I'm gonna be using my trusty, trusty Wet n Wild Contour Palette. It has been very used, and I'm gonna use this like small angled brush to contour my nose. I've never contoured my nose with a brush like this. We will see what happens. Ooh, not bad, not bad. I'm not gonna lie, for the longest time, I was contouring my nose wrong, and that's why I hated it. I was like, Contouring my nose just makes my nose look weirder and more crooked and more bumpy and strange. And now the way I do it actually helps. <laughs> Crazy, huh? So uh, actually this is the bronzer that I'm gonna be using and I'm just using a giant fluffy brush for this and I'm just gonna be real haphazard with it. I just think I need to get, I need to warm it up just a little bit kind of all over. Okay, for my under eye, I'm gonna go back to a duo-sided brush. This is the Shade and Define brush. I'm going to dip into the Matte Bernard color and go under 
my lash line the whole way. I'm gonna kind of try to go crazy with this. Kind of be dramatic, which is honestly hard for me. Like every time I'm like, guys, this is like such a dramatic look. Y'all are like, um, that's Tuesday morning going to the post office. And I'm like, I tried. This is me trying yet again. <laughs> Now I'm going into Matt Jones and I'm concentrating it more on the outer edge. And then I'm gonna go to the sharper angled side, which is probably better for a brow. Oh well. And I'm gonna go into Matt Williams, the darker shade. And I connect it up with the black liner shadow. All right, and to highlight, I'm gonna put a little bit of this matte light color in the inner corner. For my lashes, I'm gonna be using the Pixi Lower Lash Mascara. And I wish they had this in brown. Do they have this in brown? It's not that new. This came out last year. And for some reason, I did not appreciate it as much as I should have until this year. I just always like mascaras so much more after they dry out. And don't tell the girl that does my lashes, but I also use this on my top lashes just a little bit, just on the ends. If you wanna know more about lash extensions, I made a whole video about my lash extension experience. I showed the whole process. I showed what it's like to wear them for a whole month and how they like wear out and all that stuff. So if you got questions about that, seriously, it's everything you need to know. I'll work so hard on that video. I like mention it all the time. It's like, please watch it. I work so hard on it. <laughs> Okay, I'm feeling dramatic, right? Please, somebody tell me I'm being dramatic for once. Please, please, I tried. <laughs> for my highlight, I don't know if this is a new shade, I doubt it is, but it's new to me. It's the ColourPop Highlight in Scrumptious. Um, I got it, it came in like a set of three, and well, there was three sets of three highlights and they're for different skin tones. This one's from the light skin tone, surprise, surprise. And it's a super, super highlighty pink tone, a pink tone highlight as it's so beautiful and I'm using a gigantic fan brush. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, whoa, I was just like kind of at the wrong angle and I couldn't see it going on and I kind of went overboard. Hello, highlight. <laughs> oh well, gotta even it up now. <laughs> What's done is done. I just really like this. I haven't had it very long, but I've been pretty into it. Let's just move on. Let's just move on to blush. The sun's going down. Actually, it's a really pretty sunset, but you can't see it. <laughs> uh, this is another new product by The Balm. It's the Balm Springs Long Wearing Blush, and it's kind of a darker blush. Hopefully this works for me. I just swatched it yesterday, but I haven't worn it. Oh, I'm a little nervous. Let's see. Tap some off. Whoa, okay, all right, I had every right to be nervous. Probably a darker blush than I normally wear, not probably, definitely, since I'm like addicted to Luminoso by Milani, which is like such a, well, it used to be more subtle than it is now. Have you guys heard about that? I mean, Milani, have you put out an answer about that? I haven't seen it. Has Milani said anything about how Luminoso got darker over time? What's up with that? Why would they do that? actually do really like this color for me, but it's probably not a daytime shade for me. I don't know. What do you guys think? For my lips, I am, I'm using an old favorite. I'm kind of cheating again. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Cheat Liner. Um, I just feel like it works with what I'm about to use. You'll see. I just love it. You guys know. I've been talking about this forever. All right, and for the actual lip color, I'm using the Hourglass Girl in Dreamcatcher. I think Girl is the product name. I don't know, it's like a lipstick, but it's like very sheer. I was just like browsing around on Sephora and I found this and I haven't actually heard anybody talk about it. And it's a lighter color than I would normally wear, but I actually really like it. I don't feel like it really wears that great over time. You do need to reapply. It's not like a long wearing color or anything like that. I just feel like it just like looks fresh and nice and it feels good. And I also just like, I don't know, hourglass. I just love it. I don't know why. 
I made a big order on Sephora and I also have just like been picking things up for a while now. And then I also got like PR stuff and so that's where, that's where all this new stuff came from. I don't have a new setting spray that I wanna use, so this is one I've had for a long time. It's the L'Oreal Inflowable, Inflowable Pro Spray Set. Come on, work with me girls. Okay, so this is the finished look, the finished face. I'm happy with how it turned out. There were hits, there were misses. Hopefully this was helpful. Do you like this kind of video? Was it too crazy? Was it too many videos combined together? I don't know why, I like kind of combining videos together and I like talking to you guys. So hopefully this wasn't a million years long. Hopefully you guys liked it. Subscribe if you wanna keep up with all my new videos. I'm putting out new videos all the time and I'd love for you to see them. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. And I also have a vlog channel. If you didn't know that, I recently got a comment on Instagram. And I was like, ah, oh, no idea you had a vlog channel. I was like, but how? I don't know. I feel like I mentioned it a lot, but I thought I'd just mention it here. It's called Leanne Vlogs. Did I not say that? I don't know. Anyway, I'll be a better YouTuber one day. Let's not hold our breath. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye everyone. So hopefully you for, you know, Luna Bean, you gonna be in this? Being sweet baby right now. Oh my gosh, the sunset's so pretty.